Today we're going to talk about three easy steps for simple Facebook ad split tests. All right, super long title. What are we talking about? This is a way to actually get started with a process of doing split tests. Uh, let me just define split testing first. Uh, basically what this is, is this is also known as A-B testing and it helps determine the best content elements. So what headline do people prefer? Join our community or sign up and be a member. What do people respond to more, right? So that's the headline. Headlines, copy images, etc. There's a process I'm going to show you where you can build it into how you do Facebook ads. Okay. I'm going to show you step by step through the slides, but then I'm also going to jump onto Facebook ads and do it step by step. I'm not going to purchase an ad the whole way, but at least I'll get you started. We split test the image first, and there's a specific reason for that, and I'm going to show you in just a second. You select your ad objective. That's the first thing you do. All right. And we're going to get to the split testing of the images in just a second, and you'll see how it's built in to the actual process of creating a Facebook ad. So you choose your objective, right? And in our case, we're just sending people to a website. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into our ad creative part, right? We're going to, I'm going to ignore all the other parts of Facebook ads for now, like um, targeting, selecting audiences and all that stuff. That's not really what this is about. What we're focusing on is a simple way to get started with split testing the, the ads themselves. So that's what we're really focusing on here. So within the Facebook ad uh, area, you can scroll down to the, to what's, I guess what you could call the creative area, meaning that you're going to write a headline, copy, image, and all that stuff for the ads. When you get to the image, you have an opportunity to pick up to six images, all right? You can upload your own images or you can actually use images for free from Shutterstock. So it makes sense. It's, this is kind of like one of these no-brainer things where if you're going to create a Facebook ad, click Browse Library and select images from Shutterstock, right? And what happens is that each image you add will actually create a different ad in the ad set, okay? So an ad set is basically a folder for your ads. You can think about it as a folder for your ads, and that folder has to do with how you're targeting, what the audience is, right? So it might be women in Boston who have these interests, okay? So that would be the ad set. And then within that, we have our different Facebook ads. That's how ads are structured. By selecting six images, you're automatically going to enter a split test, okay, by default. You don't even have to say, I want to split test. Facebook is automatically going to do that. Once you do the ad, you run it for a little while, maybe a day, and you go back into your Facebook ads manager. And you scroll down and you drill into the ad set and you'll see each ad. You'll see six different ads representing, obviously, each image that you created, but it, but it is six different individual ads that are created, okay? Same headline, same copy, same link, different image. That's what we're talking about here, okay? Uh, and if you rank by click-through rate, which is over here on the right, it means the number of people that saw the ad that clicked on it, that did something, okay? So in this case, it's a click-through rate. So it's reach uh, divided into clicks, essentially is what we're talking about. And that ratio, you know, the higher the click-through rate, that's generally a comment on the ad itself. People see it, they notice it, something grabs their attention, and they do something, okay? Now, what's different here is the image. So we can rank by click-through rate, and we're going to see what the most effective in images are at the top. The next step in the process is you simply select the winning ads. Again, you kind of rank by click-through rate, and you're going to select maybe the top three. Okay, and pause the ads that aren't winning, right? So once you select what you want to go forward with, you simply pause what's not winning, okay? Because you don't want to spend that money anymore. You're done. Those ads are on, you know, they've, they're, we've tested out those images. We're done with them. We're, we don't want to spend any more money. We want to focus our money on the images that people are initially responding to. And then step three is where we're going to refine the winning ad. So basically how this works is that we create a copy of the winning ad. So when you drill down into your Facebook ad manager tool, you can click on, drill down into see the, all the six ads. You click on each ad, it will expand it. You'll see a preview of it. You will see targeting information and so forth. And you simply click create similar ad and then you're good to go. Create a similar ad. Once you do that, 
Then you can test another element, the headline, the text, and even the call to action in this case. And that is it. So I'm going to go through this whole process real time so that you can actually see step by step. All right, so the first thing Facebook is going to ask you is what your objective is. What are you trying to achieve? And there's a whole bunch of obje objectives here. Uh, for all of them, you can actually use six different images for the ad, except for the page post engagement ad. Uh, so you, in other words, you can't just change the image. So now we're just going to click on uh, clicks to a website. Scroll down. Who do you want to target? We're not going to talk about that. There's a whole bunch of information here about targeting, but we're not talking about that today. We're talking about split testing uh, the images first as a way to get started with split testing. Again, that's the whole point. Click on Browse Library, Stock Images, and then you simply go through and pick the images. Now, one point about picking the images. Pay attention to what stands out to you. So if you're kind of scanning these images, pay attention to what stands out to you, because that might give you a clue as to what might, might work in the newsfeed, especially because these are pretty small, right? So this one stands out to me. I'm going to scroll down. There might be something that has a little bit more contrast to it in the image. That looks interesting. And, you know, you get the point. Just pick images that are kind of different from each other. So we're going to go with that, click on Done, and then we're going to go through and finish putting our ad together. Enter a headline, you can enter text, right? Just take your best guess at this, right, at the headline. Something that's going to get people's attention, also have a call to action in it, right? Headlines, you're kind of limited. You can only have, I think, 25 characters. I mean, there's really not much that you can fit into the headline. The text, not much there either, so use the text wisely. And we have a call to action button that we can pick in our, in our case, or not have a button at all. That's something else you could test if you want. And then once you place the order, Facebook will automatically create these six different ads. Okay, you could also see a preview of these ads down here. So when you go into your Facebook ad manager account, you drill down into the campaign uh, and you just find it listed under all campaigns. You go to the campaign and then you click on your ad set. In this case, I'm just targeting some uh, specific verticals, right? and you scroll down and you can rank everything by click-through rate okay and you simply can you know rank by click-through rate and choose you know winning images that you want to go forward with or the, the the different ads and you could look at these images okay you can get a preview of everything all the uh, images that seem to be working let's see there's a third one here here we go that's interesting hmm. you know you learn something every day I didn't think that this would actually do well, this is why you split test, right? I mean, you know, this test isn't, there's not a tremendous difference with the image, you know, with the images. We're talking, you know, a little bit, but this one seems to be converting a lot. I'm using a conversion pixel on my website to see how many leads, actual leads I'm, I'm getting from this specific image. And that seems to work pretty well right after the ice bucket challenge, I guess, right? I may want to modify this image, you know, so when I'm at this point, I can create a, a similar ad. And Facebook is just telling me this ad is using the same settings as the previous ad you created. You can update any field, but to understand what impacts the performance of your ad, it's best to adjust a few things. And this is a good, this is a good thing. So you're creating a similar ad and Facebook is essentially saying what I said earlier, you know, don't go crazy, don't change a lot of things, just pick one thing at a time, okay? We go down here, we see the ad, we can change our headline. We can even go through and, and test more images about, in this case, it might be more images about the Ice Bucket Challenge, which is probably what I'm gonna be doing, right? Um, and then, so we can, uh, you know, test out a different headline, uh, test out different text, and then continue to refine this as we go forward. Click Place Order and you repeat the process. So that is it, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.